It's a wonderful Trump. SNL and Alec Baldwin riff on the Christmas classic to imagine a world where Donald is not president, Melania is remarried to Papa John, Michael Cohen is a free man, and everyone is happy. Saturday Night Live opened with a White House-themed parody of iconic Christmas movie It's a Wonderful Life. Alec Baldwin came back to play Donald Trump, who suddenly finds himself in an alternate reality where he's no longer president and everyone is better off. The black and white sketch titled It's a Wonderful Trump begins with Baldwin's Trump wishing that he had never become president. He is then guided by Kenan Thompson as Melania, Kellyanne Conway, his supposed new wife Hernia and others share what their lives look like in a world where Hillary Clinton is president instead. This week's host Matt Damon reprised his role of Brett Kavanaugh, while Ben Stiller and Robert De Niro stepped in as Michael Cohen and Robert Mueller, respectively. The skit opens with Baldwin's Trump standing on a White House balcony and remarking, well, I don't think I can do this anymore. I think I might actually eat a salad and explode. Thompson playing the role of a spirit named Clarence then appears and asks him what's wrong, to which Trump replies, oh, it's awful. Everything is falling apart. Sometimes I wish I had never been president. Next thing he knows, Trump finds himself in the White House surrounded by familiar faces played by a star studded SNL ensemble. First up in the string of confrontations is A.D. Bryant as Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who has become a PR representative for Facebook, Ashley Madison, and the Remain Lettuce Association. Next is Kate McKinnon as Kellyanne Conway, who Trump says is looking healthy and vibrant. She responds by saying, actually that's because I'm actually no longer eaten from within by lies. And after we lost the campaign, the devil gave me back my soul. Adding a jab related to real life Conway's recent marital troubles, she says, excuse me, I have to go find my husband, who I speak to now. After she walks away, Trump asks Clarence, wait, so Hillary is president. The ghost replies, that's right. In this reality, all she had to do to win was visit Wisconsin once. Trump inquires, well, did they find her emails? To which Clarence responds, they did. They were all bed, bath and beyond coupons. Eric and Donald Trump Jr., as played by Alex Moffat and Mikey Day respectively, appear as much more intelligent versions of themselves. When asked what had changed, Clarence tells Trump, well, since Eric does not run the entire Trump organization, he was able to attend adult education classes. Eric says, Merry Christmas, Father. Or as they say in Spanish, Fella's nasty dad. Cecily Strong reprised her impression of Melania, who had divorced Trump, was happily married to Papa John, and suddenly doesn't have an accent. They said being around you all the time was hurting my language skills, she says. Ben Stiller came back as Michael Cohen, who without Trump's presidency was no longer facing prison time. Trump asks, Michael Cohen, shouldn't you be in jail after you flipped on me? Cohen replies, what? I would never, never flip on you. You're my best friend. And since it's Christmas, I just want to say, you taught me everything I know. Every single thing I've done is because you directed me to do it. And I hope everyone knows it. We're a team like OJ and Cato or Lyle and Eric Menendez. I'll see you tomorrow at the grand opening of Trump Tower Moscow. Beck Bennett played Mike Pence, who was DJing the Christmas party in the sketch. It's so great to be myself. Thank God I was never your vice president, he says. I would just be sitting in meetings you with, and Pelosi and Schumer just staring out in space imagining this. Damon's Kavanaugh isn't on the Supreme Court in the alternate universe, as the character remarks, me on the Supreme Court? With my temperament? Are you insane? No, they went with that nerd Merrick Garland. But on the plus side, when I tell people I like beer, they find it charming and not like I'm threatening violence. Dot plus, I have so much more time now to hang out with PJ and Squea Needle Dean Nick and no means yes Nate. Dot Robert De Niro capped off the cold open as Mueller, telling Trump, I have something for you. Dot Trump asks, is it a subpoena or your final report? Dot no, it's a picture of my grandson, Mueller replies. Been spending so much more time with him since I don't have to investigate some idiot for treason. Dot after meeting with all the guests Trump says, wow, this night has put everything into perspective. I have had an epiphany. I guess the world does need me to be president after all. Dot Clarence replies, yeah, that was not the lesson at all.